My specific memory was the knock on the door, opening the door and seeing the police officer at our door wanting to come in. And I remember specifically that at first it seemed for me the best thing would be just to let me know what happened on the spot. And it wasn't till he insisted more than two times that he needed to sit down with me that the absolute fear and shock of what was to come was going to be the reality that came out of sitting down with the police officer and explaining that our daughter was no longer with us. What was going through my mind at that time when the officer told me that our daughter was no longer with us was the pain that my wife was enduring as he explained to us both on the sofa what had happened, how I could not protect my wife and how I would have to explain to my son and my daughter what had happened to their sister and how I could not protect them from the pain in which they were going to endure as a result of this event. It deepened the pain of losing her even more by knowing and realizing that alcohol had played a significant role in the error she made in judgment and in actions that night. I would like to say that just as my daughter should not have, um, that moment's decision ended her life and changed our lives forever. And so my reason for being here is to say that we as a family have been so destroyed by this event that we want to be able to share with others as much as they can feel from what I'm saying that that one moment decision to get into a car my daughter should not have made that she should have stayed where she was even though she wanted to be home with us and that was the motivation for it please anyone if you have drunk please do not drive. It is devastating for everyone around it.